How should I prepare eCockpit before starting to program? Of course, you need to have eCockpit installed on your system. I've got this already installed here. If you still need to install it, you can get the download link either through the Vago homepage or the support of your country. If it's already installed on your system, I'd recommend to check if the latest version is installed. Therefore, we go to the backstage view and then to updates and add-ons. Here we can see a list of available updates and add-ons and the most top is eCockpit. We can search for updates and can see now that the installed version for me is the 1511 and the available version is the 1503. So the available version is an older version and so I've got the latest version installed. If the version available is newer than the installed version, you can either do the update through checking the eCockpit checkbox here and then install it, or you can do a fresh installation by getting the download link as mentioned through the homepage or the support, then removing the license from your license manager down here. You can check this license and then delete it from the system since you're removing a cockpit from your system. And when you install it, you will be prompt to put your license in again. Then there's also updates and add-ons, which I quickly want to explain. First, the add-ons. These three, the profiler, the static analysis and UML, are add-ons to eCockpit which are optional so you can see on my PC I don't even have them installed. You would have to purchase a license key to use those. The profiler is an early measurement and evaluation tool of processing times and code coverage. Static analysis is checking the source code for defined rules and UML is a graphical language for the specification, design and documentation of object-oriented software. Next in this list, we've got the firmware for eCockpit or rather for the controllers. Here you may find a newer firmware version, which is matching your installed eCockpit version. So for example here we've got firmware 13 for the controller PFC and the touch panel. And those I've got installed because those are the latest firmware versions which I am using with the installed eCockpit version on my computer.